hello guys welcome to my 12th video on c programming in this video i will show you how to merge two arrays this is a weird concept so let's get started quickly first uh, declare and initialize variables first we shall declare an uh, array sony tim eric's and tim apple these are 10 let's make this as 20 so this apple array is going to hold both both these uh, sony and ericsson's value so just make it as a little bigger black berry and lumia so that's it so this is uh, these are the normal things uh, first we have to uh, enter the size for the first array and i stored in black and this is the loop which uh, loops after the black and stored in sony and second uh, as like this uh, i have created this uh, second thing uh, it will uh, store the size in berry and it will uh, store the va values in ericsson and here comes our for loop for okay. before that uh, in my 10th video i showed you how to find out the duplicates in the array and uh, eliminate them i'm going to use the same thing so i recommend you to uh, look at my 10th video first and then uh, go over this one for let's make some more variables to work with i'm going to use htc del and a temporary variable now htz is equal to 0 htz up to uh, here I have used black so up to black and htc plus plus now here comes an another for loop so in my 10th video I used two for loops and instead for loop in order to find the um, uh, common elements in the array instead of uh, creating a nested for loop i'm going to combine them into a one loop uh, one for loop um, so this for loop will hold a if statement let me put this first and here is the other one use this ambition symbol and del is going to be my another one variable to work with this for loop del up to mm, I store this in berry up to berry so uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this loop uh, makes sure that the value of htz never uh, goes behind this black and the value of berry uh, value of del never goes uh, behind uh, this berry now this if statement is uh, if sony htc is equal to Ericsson del then you can print so you can use the printf statement to find out the common elements as I showed in my 10th video uh, this is the normal way of finding the common elements uh, in a true array whereas here we are not going to find out the common elements and we are going to so we are going to take this out and make a less than equal to symbol so before proceeding to the condi uh, the statements let me explain you one thing so here some some statements is going to be placed and this is what to be written in a code um, the, let's consider this as a sony array and this has ericsson's array the if statement is going to check whether the elements in this array are less than equal to the first element of this array here i have sorry. here i have uh, used a del uh, to loop up to berry but i have never incremented the value of del so the del's uh, constant value is zero it never checks any other value it will checks only whether the first value uh, first first value of a 4 uh, is uh, greater than all these one 
or equal to this one so this is uh, what happens here uh, if array one uh, zeros position element is uh, less than equal to the this uh, b arrays zeros element and also the uh, sony's first uh, first place element which is 2 is less than 4 or not we know that all these elements 1 2 3 4 is less than equal to 4 so it will take all these four elements and uh, runs under this uh, uh, so these all all four elements will be handled by this if statement in case uh, in, in case um, if uh, uh, so here uh, apart from these num four numbers this uh, five is uh, in b which doesn't meet the condition so this b uh, b is uh, first first place element will be in this else statement so if the condition evaluates to false it will straight away come to this uh, else statement so if uh, uh, so if the user inputs 1 2 3 4 in his first array and 4 5 in his array this is what will happen in case if he enters greater number here and the smaller numbers in his next array uh, the first condition first uh, loop itself terminates to false and the first uh, first else statement will be uh, will be looped because none of these uh, elements are less than or equal to uh, the first element of uh, b <coughs> so the else statement will be looped first when it is looped uh, first the elements in this b are pushed to a new array first so 1 2 3 will be placed in the first uh, three places of the new array and these elements will be placed following them so um, now let's build this if so in this if uh, statement um, uh, if condition if statement the statements are going to be uh, here the new uh, the the array which is going to hold both these arrays is apple so apple equal to the found result of the if statement uh, will be in uh, sony's hdz so we are going to assign this to this apple here the loop value is going to be our new variable which is the last the last right now a simple thing is increment the value of last the last so this last uh, is used for two things first thing when it is uh, looked for the first time uh, the value of uh, apple zero first element will be assigned to apple zero by default value of the last is zero when it is looked for the second time apple one will contain the second value and this, uh, uh, so it is used to increment the value uh, of uh, this array um, and the second thing is uh, is used to keep a track of how many numbers are being entered into this apple so if this if statement looked for five times then this uh, the last will hold uh, f number five it will be used in our uh, next stage so in case if the condition uh, evaluates to false this one evaluates to false this else statement will run uh, in this else statement as like as this one we are going to add uh, elements to this apple array with the elements of uh, ericsson del so that's it as like as this we are going to increment the value of the last plus plus so before that we need to increment the value of del see here uh, we are supposed to increment the value of del because actually i have incremented the value of htz over here so i have not mentioned here uh, we are supposed to increment the value of uh, del otherwise the value remains uh, constant which is zero uh, so that's it so let's uh, print out and see what happens so for print let me copy this mm. let the heading be Is 
change it to printer percent hd click of this ambition and here place this apple and uh, now the lumia uh, lumia var variable will look up to black we have to make it as black plus berry because if you place only black it will look uh, up to uh, the user enters a size in this uh, first if he enters three it will look only for the three times so we have to add this black with berry so if he enters a three uh, for the first size and the two for the second size it will uh, add them so it will look for five times mm. so that's it let's make a new line Here we go. Let's uh, run this pro process and see. Uh, enter the first array size. Let's enter three, one, two, three. Second array size two. Let's uh, let it be bigger four, five. Oops. Here we got one, two, three, and we got a zero, one instead of four, five. Okay, let's try with some other number. Three, seven, eight, nine, two, one, two. Here we got this uh, one, two, which is entered in my second array to be pushed, pushed to the top of the new array, and we got some other crap numbers over here. So where is the issue? I will tell you the solution for this in my next video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video.